Hello everyone, if you're a developer, I'm just going to give you a very, very quick uh, intro to what I have seen uh, that are available from the Visual Studio Code Marketplace, uh, the extension that you can use to work with your Azure account. So I'm right here in this URL, uh, code.visualstudio.com docs Azure extensions. And I did one short video for Azure extension, but I didn't want to do individual video to how to install the app of the same. So let's say you want to use the Azure CLI tools and all you need to do is copy this extension, uh, go to your code, uh, do com control and P and paste the command. Uh -uh, I didn't copy it properly. So I need to copy this completely. Let me see if I have no, I still haven't copied it. I'm not sure why the copy is not working. So just copy it this way and go for here control P and then Here's the command. Okay, and once you have that you just hit enter and you will see over here It says the CLI tool is now installing and now it's installed. That's pretty much all you need So let's go ahead and I'm actually go ahead and uh, install a couple other things here app service I'm gonna go get that one as well and um, uh, let's see go back control P and paste again installing install it's very very fast and quick uh, as your resource manager let's get that one uh, copy let's go back control P paste it and hit enter again installing uh, and if you don't use code, you should give it a try. This is uh, my favorite uh, editor since like last two years. So lightweight and so beautiful. And even Git, if you are uh, managing Git, I find this editor exceptionally you know, useful, uh, especially when we have a march, Git march. I can use this editor to very, very easily identify what's the problem and fix it. So I always highly recommend uh, code to everyone. All right, let's see Azure databases. Let's get that one as well. Uh, come back. Since it's not taking too long, I'm just gonna install a few more as part of the video. And I'm just trying to see if, if I see any kind of trouble uh, that we can talk about in this video. But so far it looks like everything going very, very smooth, right? Let's get the storage, you know, the big part of Azure compute and storage and networking right the three major components that you should be aware of uh, so the reason that I'm doing all that because I feel like uh, I'm studying for the AZ 300 exam and it's time that I go beyond just Azure uh, shell or, or just uh, looking at what Azure can do using the portal I want to use I want to learn a little bit of DevOps I want to be able to write some code to be able to connect to Azure programmatically and look at my storage, my VM, anything that I want to do. I want to start writing code and that's kind of my goal so that I'm ready for the exam and I have a better understanding uh, not only just from a, from the portal perspective, uh, how to use it, uh, also from a coding perspective, okay, deploy to Azure. So um, it's not required for uh, the Azure Solution Architect Expert Certification, but I feel like that is a gap currently I have. So I'll be definitely working on it. Okay, what I want to see if there's a just a PowerShell extension. Show is it all extension or there more? Okay, I'm gonna search one more time. Azure or so extension for Visual Studio Code. I don't know if I have it here. Uh, or just as your partial extension for uh, I typed it wrong. Uh, well, I didn't see it immediately, but uh, but if you come across, I like, just like as you see, I was I was hoping that there might be something that directly says, yeah, 
there is something uh, the other thing you can do you can do control shift X uh, and we are also going to do that so control shift X so that's going to give us the marketplace search and here I'm going to search for Azure and see if I pick up something else all right so I'm going to extend this bar just a little get some uh, so Azure app service I thought we installed this one did we not yeah, it's installed. We really have need to re. Uh, okay, this is installed. As your tools, I don't have. So I, anywhere I have the install button available, I can install it. Okay, as your repos, I don't think I'm gonna use uh, IoT Hub. I may try out a little bit. Let's see, machine learning. We got it. As your up space, maybe I'm not gonna use it from Logic Apps. I may give it a try. So let's get that one. Uh, as your data looks, not sure if I'm gonna use, but still let's get it. IoT, I'm not interested right now. Theme, API management, uh, Kubernetes is probably. I'm at least gonna give it a try to see, you know, how it works. I just fear I'm not familiar with the service yet. Uh, resource manager snippet, not sure. Uh, resource group already got it. Application insights is something probably we should know uh, storage explorer is, is a must-have okay so this is uh, a definite one that I'm gonna get it uh, as your policy is a definite one even have I'm gonna give it a try uh, as your DevOps planner mm, I'm not gonna do it now uh, storage utility uh, let's get it Storage is something I want to be an expert. Uh, as you race for Ansible, yeah, I have I love Ansible, but I don't think I'm gonna do Ansible for my uh, AC300 exam, so it's I'm okay. Uh, as you bought Blueprint, I have not really started using it too much. Uh, let's see anything else that's uh, interesting. Again, uh, if you um, you may have different different need and, and feel free to install whatever else uh, you know you may find uh, that's going to be useful. This Azure Virtual Machine Explorer. Let's get that one as well. Uh, Co color theme, Cosmos DB graph. Let's get it. Uh, I think I got enough. Uh, Azure got harness of services. You can say you can tell. And that's the great thing about going to cloud. It not only, you know, gives you everything on demand, uh, but uh, you know you ha you're open to like unlimited possibilities. What you can do with your data, and uh, you know, it just gives you so much innovation. Now you can you know integrate with big data, integrate with uh, artificial intelligence, integrate with Cosmos. Big, I mean. Uh, unbelievable what's the amount that you can do with your own uh, infrastructure all right I think I have got uh, a good amount of uh, stuff installed and uh, I think I have given you enough uh, information as well so two ways to do uh, you can go to the official website and see what are the uh, Azure uh, extensions that are available uh, and then click on any of the extension get how to install it do a control P and if not you just go and from inside Azure you can also go to the extension marketplace uh, look and search for the Azure and get whatever you need to install okay that's all I wanted to explain in this video um, good luck exploring Azure um, um, I hope that you enjoy Azure as much as I do thanks for watching this video um, please leave your comment I would love that uh, to make more videos I, your feedback is essential thank you